and she says, can I hook up my Bluetooth so I can play some music? Just listen to 95.5 FM. Like, <laughs> you're getting a free ride. You don't get to be a DJ. I'm scared. You're not even paying. It's not even Uber. This is what you said. No. <laughs> Just. Stop, he's so precious. Oh my god. Good morning, my mom. Welcome back to today's vlog. So here's what's going on. Um, did you guys know that there is a loyalty test that's going on in Korea? It's kind what? of insane. It's a huge debate to the point where it's not even just a it's not even just a social media debate. Even BTS was interviewed about this debate, no about way. this question, about this loyalty test in relationships. It's gotten so heated. People are literally getting mad at each other. And I have decided to test my fiance on these questions. Why you ask? Because last night I woke up. Uh, did you hear me scream I hate you? No. I literally woke myself up screaming I hate you. It has been so long since I woke up screaming something, but it was so bad. I had a dream that he took somebody else to prom and then he tried to gaslight me into thinking that it was okay. But get this, he uh. vlogged the whole thing and he was looking at her so lovingly. Yeah, he was like vlogging and she was standing right here and yeah. he was like, oh, we're just But the way he was looking at her was it's so sus. loving and like filled with love. I would never. I woke up like this guy is not loyal. This guy I is. I gotta, I gotta punch him in the face. Ooh, <laughs> nothing else happened. So we're actually gonna be testing his loyalty. Which, speaking of testing and speaking of uncomfortable situations, do you guys have nosy neighbors? Like, imagine the nosiest neighbor that you've ever had in your entire life. The one that like pops their head out at every little noise in the neighborhood. Like, if somebody is walking down the street, they'd be popping their head through the window. Why does that sound like me? But like, think about the annoyingest one. Well, imagine that anytime you're inside of your house. They'd be looking at your house through the bushes and everything. Maybe some of them are wild enough to even come onto your property and look through the window. And maybe some of them are crazy enough that you leave the front door open and you go to run errands no and way. they walk in through the front door and they're just looking around. Well, did you know if you use the internet without a VPN, that's kind of what's happening to you. ExpressVPN is my go-to VPN. I use it on a daily basis across all of my devices because my internet service provider can keep a log of every single thing that I have ever done online. They could actually even sell that data to advertisers if that's what they so please to do. I mean, it's honestly pretty scary. If there's anything that I can do to make it a little bit more secure, a little bit safer, it's gonna be this, okay? If you just read one article about big tech and how these companies mine your data, they track your searches, your messages, your video history. It's terrifying. That's not even considering the fact that whenever you're in a public place using airport Wi-Fi, campus Wi-Fi, in-flight Wi-Fi, Starbucks Wi-Fi, hotel Wi-Fi, you're exposing yourself to anyone that wants to know more. So let ExpressVPN do the work. So you know how every device has a unique IP address? Well, when you use ExpressVPN, your connection gets rerouted through one of their 3,000 servers and it hides your real IP address. It replaces it with one of theirs. They've got servers in 94 different countries, so you can appear to be from any one of them. And all your data goes through a secure encrypted tunnel and it can't be seen. Not by hackers, not by your internet service provider, not even by ExpressVPN. And if you're like, I like to live my life on the edge, I don't give a fork about any of that, let my neighbors peek through me. I want to put on a show for them. Well, let me tell you something else. You know how you have a Netflix account and you pay the same price that I pay for it, but did you know, without using ExpressVPN, it's like paying full price for Disneyland, but you can only ride the teacup ride. So when you use ExpressVPN, there are shows on there that is not available in the US. But with ExpressVPN, you can start watching all the other shows. All you have to do is switch your location to the country of your choosing. Because remember, ExpressVPN has servers in 94 different countries and start watching right now. I'm still watching The World of the Married. It's such a good K-drama. You just have to switch your VPN to Korea. It's one of the highest rated K-dramas of 2020 and I'm freaking hooked. I don't know why I didn't watch it earlier. And there's Miracle, Letters to the President. It's a movie based on a true story. Very, very emotional. Just switched over to Korea. If you guys go to expressvpn.com slash mango, you can find out how to get three months free. That's expressvpn.com slash mango. Thank you, ExpressVPN, for sponsoring today's video. And let's interrogate my fiance. Yes. With peace and love <laughs> and respect and trust. We got the whole family here and I had to put a pillow here so the dogs that can sit in between us. They don't want to sit on one side. That's why we look like we're a million miles away. <laughs> Welcome. I got my fiance. I got Tiffany here and we need to talk about the Perilla leaf debate. The sesame leaf debate. This is what has been going viral in Korea. Even all the idols are literally weighing in on what they would do. Mm. So in Korea, there is, this is like the loyalty test. In Korea, 
Korea there's a side dish which is a bunch of sesame leaves that are um, they're in soy sauce and they're all kind of pickled right uh -huh. but you have to you wrap it in rice like you would seaweed but you have to get each one off and it's yeah. notoriously difficult you know get me yeah, yeah, yeah. get me it's too hard right <laughs> to peel. So the debate is, let's say you, your partner, and your best friend. Okay, maybe it's not your best best friend, but a good friend. Okay. It's a girl. You guys are at the dinner table. Wait, who's friend? My friend or your friend? Mine. Mine. Okay. Do you have friends? Tell me yeah, right now. Yeah, I'm dead there. So let's say we're at dinner, honey. You, me, and a girlfriend of mine. Not my best friend, but just a friend. And she's a girl. Now, we're talking and having a conversation and you see my friend struggling to pick out the kidney with her chopsticks. She sucks at chopsticks, okay? Uh-huh. Do you go in and put your chopsticks down so she can get a kidney or not? You watch her Me? struggle. Me? Yeah. Watch her struggle. <laughs> no, be honest. No, every single question and situation, I want you to answer Honestly, don't answer in this fake like, oh, what's your struggle? No, I'd be watching. <laughs> no, but for me, I would help. Oh. You would help? Because she's struggling. And, and this, this is why he's single. <laughs> it's nothing like serious. It's nothing to worry about, in my opinion. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> this is a one-time thing. We help her. And it's what, if, what if the friend dropped their chopsticks? on the floor. Would you go grab a new pair of chopsticks? No, she can ask the server. So chopsticks. what does BTS say? I want to know. They oh. all have different answers. Some said, yeah, that doesn't mind. Like, who cares if that happens? Some said, no, because it's one thing to pick up a kidney, but the next thing you know, they're holding hands. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do, honey? Be realistic. I need you to be as realistic as possible. Genuinely think that this I is I think happening. you would help. I would not help. You're not being realistic. <laughs> I, I know you would help. I would like, help. Why do you think I will help and I will go to prom with someone else? And then... Okay, not that. Not okay, that okay. I promise I won't be mad. No, I wouldn't. You would help. No, I wouldn't. I want you to help. I think it's a gentlemanly thing to do. Mm. Why don't you help? I think I would help, but okay, if, let's then say if I you're helping, help. then I'm not helping. No, let's say I'm so busy, like my chopsticks are like I'm like doing something with okay, my noodles. Then I will do that. <laughs> For you, so you can help your. <laughs> but that's so awkward. Can you imagine we're no. sitting there and she's struggling with the kidney, and I'm doing my noodles, and you go, "Oh, honey, let me do your noodles, <laughs> so you can help your friend with the kidney." No. What if I can't? I don't see her. <laughs> you don't see her. I don't see her. <laughs> you gotta answer better than this. I know you better than you know yourself. But I know you better. I think she's like forcing me to say something yeah. right now. I th I think it's gentlemanly for you to help. Okay, all but, right. But no eye contact allowed. No. Don't be doing this shit where it's like <laughs> And then you're like, oh my god, you're so mad with your chopsticks <laughs> <laughs> I literally smack you across the face So I can't help but I can't say anything No You have to do it so nonchalant, right? But I, will, I think my chopstick will be shaking This is how I would do it in this situation, okay? Yeah. If it's your guy friend and he's struggling uh -huh. with the candy, right? Uh -huh. I would continue the conversation as normal Just put my chopsticks almost in like a and then just continue the conversation with you or with him, but, that's, but not really. But that's like, you usually do that for your boyfriend or girlfriend. Like that's kind of uh, intimate, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like someone you just walk in and just pull out a chair for someone else. Oh! Here's what you do. You wait there, uh -huh. let her get her stupid kidney. And pick one up for you. Yes! And then immediately pick one up for me. Damn and it. put it on my rice. Yo, that's all. Oh Come my on, gosh. bro. Oh. Sheesh. So I would give you like a 5 out of 10 on this one. I got it, I got it, yeah. I, I got it from this point. Okay, <laughs> this one I came up with myself. Imagine I invited a friend over. This is not my best friend, okay? This is not someone that you see all the time. It's just like a new friend and she comes over but I'm not home yet. I'm like on the way home from getting a haircut or something. I'm on the way home and I'm like, hey babe, can you let her in? Like, oh, I'm like 10 minutes away. She comes in. <laughs> I think I know where this is going. She comes in, you're like, hey, do you want a water? Like, you're being nice, right? You give her a water, and she's a clumsy. She's uh -huh. drinking the water, and it spills on her shirt. <laughs> no, no, it's not a white shirt, it's not weird. Okay. And she says, can I borrow a shirt? Do you, A, let her come into my closet and pick a shirt? Do you, oh, B, no. No. give her one of your shirts? What? Or C, do you give her one of my shirts, and which shirt? I mean, how bad is the spill? Which shirt? Oh, I'll say take it off, I'll wash it. <laughs> Like, so you want her to I'm stand naked? I was just kidding. I, I will kill you right okay. now. Oh. I will fuck you right Give now. Give her your hair dryer. So obviously, I'm not gonna 
bring her to the closet. That's freaking weird, right? And that's, disrespectful. That's, I wouldn't give her my shirt. That's freaking weird. Cause what am I gonna wear? <laughs> <laughs> um. So the only option is um. Give her one of your shirt, right? Is that what you're saying? But which one? A t-shirt that you never wear, like really old. And a loose. A loose t-shirt, right? Yeah, nothing okay. tight. Nothing tight. Yeah, for sure. Then there comes down with a bra. He's like, <laughs> is this a jelly boy? <laughs> Why can't you just give towel? A towel? Are you crazy? So she's shirtless with a towel. And imagine I walk in on oh, she's no. shirtless with a towel. You Who do you think is gonna die? Though. Who's gonna die? <laughs> You just spill water Let's though. go then, man. let's go. Then, my boy. Then then is definitely gonna catch himself in a couple. It's not what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile. Dude, I was walking. So I, I worked out today trying to get some watermelons. I, I try to hold my I try to hold my uh, my my scream, bro. It's not as bad as giving birth, but bro, it's like it hurts, okay? It hurts. Like, no, I thought like she would come in. Could you give me a house tour? And then ended up in the bedroom. And then you walk in. Why you That's rough. Right? Do you give them a house tour? No. You don't give so I would, go. but not the bedroom. You go, by the way, that's our upstairs right there. Uh-huh. This is the living room. That's the bathroom if you need it. This is the kitchen. Uh -huh. What else do you need to know? The exit is right there. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like, what do you need to know? Oh, you know? Oh, no. we're yeah. aggressive. I feel okay. like if it's normal glow, don't do that with yeah. that guy. Just what if it's a me. grandma? What do you mean? The grandma's house? No, like a grandma come in. Oh, my friend's a grandma. Yeah. Yeah. I think we give her like a tour. But what if I'm into grandmas? Yo, what? <laughs> no, you weirdo. <laughs> no. You, you me, and my best friend are eating seafood boil. And the shrimps are head on, skin on. I'm a pro, I'm a mukbanger. I got my gloves on, I'm going in, I'm eating. You're a pro, you're going in, you're eating. You see her and it's taking her 10 years and peel one shrimp. Bruh. She got issues. No. What do you do? I yes, fast as I can. <laughs> <laughs> You're lying. I wouldn't do anything. What am I like? I'm not gonna peel it for her. I'm gonna peel it for you. Why? You're not happy with my answer. No, I don't know your answer because I don't know because I never give you a moment to shine. I always sit there and I go, can you peel one for her? She's struggling. So I don't know actually what you would do. I would not offer. Like I would not offer. Or do, you'll just teach her how to, right? Oh, I would just. Oh my god, order. me just imagining. You're like, you'll teach her how to. He's like, this is how you feel. <laughs> <laughs> like the golfing suit. <laughs> You're such a fast learner. <laughs> <laughs> it's you, me, and a friend of mine. Okay. We're waiting for the bus. It's cold. We're in Korea. It's a Korean debate. We're in Korea, and we're all wearing those padded jackets, the pa black padded jackets. You know how they're pretty long? Like the, the thick, pack cut. Long coat? Yeah. It's yeah. not a coat though. Yeah, yeah, like... yeah. The Korean Ajima. Yeah, it comes to the knees. And I'm on the phone with someone. Like it's like really serious. I can't be bothered. And we're all like freezing our ass off waiting for the bus. Now my friend, her zipper is like she can't get the zipper. Do you help her? <laughs> <laughs> or you just stand there? She like is freezing. She's like, oh my god, I'm so cold, I'm so cold, I'm so cold. And the zipper is <laughs> stuck. I'm on the phone. Bruh. I just added the phone thing to this Korean debate because if I wasn't on the phone, I would just do it myself. But I'm on the phone. Then the answer first. first. She, is she dying? Like, is it super, super cool? It's super cold. But like, you, you see she, her face is turning purple. Oh, sh <laughs> I'll be like to my girlfriend, what's that? And then I'll just do it real quick and then... <laughs> I'm kidding. Huh? Huh? Yo, you're dead as a gentleman. Yeah. Right? You're really sweet. You like to help her I out. I can be. So you see someone struggling like that. But it's like, so awkward to stand there and just watch though. Yeah, so you look like the biggest it's douche. So that is true. I mean, it's just like one time, right? But it's like all the way on the knees and then all the way up, you know what I mean? I'll just do it's it without so no close. eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then I'll go to my girlfriend, like near her, and then give her like physical touch. Bruh. He'd be okay. giving get names to everyone. <laughs> I give her a physical touch. No, but she's the dying like, out there. Get off me, you know? I'm she's on an important call. How about you? <laughs> First of all, you don't have friends. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm safe. Honey, you have to really take this test seriously. All right, fine. All right, hold on. Give me a second. Yeah, this guy is shivering. <laughs> At this point, she has hypothermia and she's dead, honey. Yo, let me think. Let me think. But like, I'm kind of like this on the phone. Mm -hmm. And I don't see her struggling. But imagine I hang up and I just see you zipping it up. That is so weird too, oh my god. Uh, and we just gotta wait till we go home for you to explain. What you know? am I wearing? The paka, but it's all the way zipped up because you're intelligent and we zipped it up. This one has no answer. Think why she mad, she will be mad. Think why, why, why yeah, my girlfriend why will be mad? Yeah, why she will be mad, yeah. 
why would Stephanie be mad? Yeah. Because I'm like doing really intimate activity with okay, someone. Okay, then solve the problem. Solve the problem? Yeah, so like, solve how the do problem. you make her... Also, this feels like we're in a fight right now. <laughs> and you're like the brain. You're like, why is your girlfriend mad? <laughs> solve the problem. Solve the solve problem. problem. Alright, so I got it. I will, um... Mm -hmm. <laughs> you what? Bam. I think it's I'm the, leaving. <laughs> I think it's the answer depending on who you're dating, I guess. I'm dating you. Yeah, so what would do you, like And you don't have friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tiffany, tell me. <laughs> I'll take it off. Like yeah. I'll take it off like <laughs> And she's not wearing anything under. She's <laughs> naked? Naked? No. She's naked? <laughs> See, I like her answer. The, the, I would, this is what I would oh, do. Oh yeah, I was like, can you take it off? I'll, fix, I'll see if I can or fix I, it. That's no, so smart. Her. Like, what I would do is I would poke you while you're on the phone and you'd probably turn around That's and That's what I said. And okay. then I'll probably be like, what? Yeah, whatever, right? And uh -huh. then you'll like do it. But like, I don't know why I don't think I'd be that offended either way. I think I might be like a little like, what the fuck? Right? But then I'll go home and I'll be like, hey, what was that about? And then you be like, oh my god, his zipper was stuck. Now let's say, uh -oh. this is another Korean one. You're at work. Okay. And you always have a coworker that is on the way home from your work. Okay. So she lives on the way home. Uh -huh. And she's constantly asking you to drop her off. Oof. And you're saying yes, okay? She's oh, your age. She's not an old woman. She's not an old lady. She's not a little high money. She is your age, okay? okay? Now. You say yes a couple of times because, you know, whatever. Maybe she's like, oh, my gas car or this, blah, blah, blah. She has a reason. And on this time, she's in the car and she says, can I hook up my Bluetooth so I can play some music? What do you say? But then I say, of course. He loves huh? us. He, he, he said, what's your song? Here's the ox. <laughs> but then it loves to share some music selections. I don't think it's a big deal. I really don't think that's a big deal. To play the girl's songs? Well, just the Bluetooth. While she's there, yeah. But I know if my girlfriend sees that, it'll be weird, but I'll tell her beforehand. Then I see zero problem with this question. Oh my god, Tiffany. Okay. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> well, hi, honey, what do you think? Honestly, I don't know if I can say no. I don't know how do I say no to that. Like my Bluetooth broken or? She's gonna think you're mean. Why, 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 why? Everything else? You peel the shrimp, you do the getting, if you even zip up the jacket, I really don't care. I wouldn't even think about it. Bluetooth? The f*** you guys bonding over music for? Like, what kind of f***ing song is she playing? Like, why are you trying to have a moment in the car, relaxing to music together? In the car, listening to nice songs? It's such a bonding experience, and it almost becomes like a moment that you guys have. And like, this is your song, right? Okay, I get it, I get it. What kind of f***ing mood are you trying okay. to set? What kind of vibe are you trying to set? Okay. Just listen to f***ing 95.5 FM. Like, <laughs> you're getting a free ride. You don't get to be a DJ and set the tone of the ride. I'm scared. You're not even paying, it's not even Uber. This is what you said. No. <laughs> But what, okay, then what if she said, hey, can you play Harry Styles this song? Just say, no. How about Justin Bieber? Just say, it's not that serious, bro. It's <laughs> just a ride home. Like, you can jam out to music when you get home. Never be like, oh, no, because my girlfriend's a little crazy. The minute that, oh, oh anybody says that, it's over. You're single. No, Practice no. saying no, come on. No. Can I have my Bluetooth up to your car? No. So what song are you playing while you're driving her home? I'm playing radio. <laughs> <laughs> This video is educational. Yeah, music. This is, is actually a survival video. <laughs> <laughs> so this is another one that is an uncomfortable situation. Okay. I have a friend who's come over. This is like your first time meeting the friend, right? I knew her for a while. Your first time meeting her. Okay. So we're sitting around and she's like crying. She just got rejected by a guy, and the guy told her, "You're kind of ugly." So she's crying and she looks to you and she says, "Like from a guy's perspective, like do you think I'm ugly?" Yes. <laughs> She's crying. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I hate when girls like ask these as a friend. Like, I think it's really. I don't ask because I don't want to get my feelings hurt. But she's already asked. It's she's too late. crying. Am I ugly? She said, from a guy's perspective, like, do you think I'm pretty? I mean, I'll, I'll say of course. I mean, of course. Ah. Of course. Of course. Wait, 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 wait. I'll say you're not ugly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I got it. I think you're pretty, but you're just not my type. <laughs> Bro, that's weird. That's uh, prettier than me. Prettier than me. But I think I would cry if a guy was like, hey, you're prettier than me. I'd be like, 
I don't know why my brain is like blank right now. <laughs> it's because she is staring at your soul right now. <sighs> Harvey, you suck. What's the right answer? Yeah. You don't have to answer the question. Yeah, I probably wouldn't answer it. Yeah. No, you can just be like, I mean, everyone has different, different opinions. Like, opinions, I guess. You should just feel like you shouldn't let it get to you. Yeah. Mm. Don't let it get to you. Who cares about that guy? Mm. You can comfort her and still yeah. be like, yeah, f that guy. The dude's a chad. Like, you know, don't cry. Yeah, don't cry for that guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be your whole relationship tagline. I'm vlogging Wait, babe, it's not what every it looks like. day of my relationship. <laughs> so we're dropping a friend off, okay? Me, me and you driving. Yeah, so you're driving. And it's me and this girl, we're inside, right? And I'm like, oh honey, like I'll be out in the car in like five seconds, let me just grab my stuff, right? And we're gonna drop her off at home. And you go wait in the car. Yeah. I'm still inside getting my stuff. The girl comes outside and she says, Hey, can I sit in the front because I get so car sick in the back? Is that okay? And you're already oh, in no. the driver's seat. What do you say? I Which she no. just said, I get so car sick. You gotta think this is real, honey. I am <laughs> real. Also, if you're so rude, it's gonna look like I'll be upset too if you're right. so rude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So because I, the I friend is gonna think we're weird. Yeah. I gotta shut her down very elegantly. <laughs> I wanted to say, you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> you're so um, bad at this. Not thinking. You're not you thinking. I'm yeah. thinking so hard right now. <laughs> Bro, your brain is not thinking. Yeah. I'll be like, now with my driving skills. <laughs> She still wants to sit in the yes, front? So, yeah. Okay, then you drive her. I'll sit in the back. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. Yes! Oh. Yeah, would you like to drive it? I'll sit in the no, back. No! No, you don't let her drive our car. That's weird, bro. Oh, yeah. This is what I would say. Okay. If I'm already in the driver's seat, I'd say, oh, shit. Like my fiance gets car sick too, so maybe I'll oh. let him drive back. Oh yeah, you two drive. You drive. Yeah. Let yeah. my girlfriend drive. You sit in the front and I'll sit in the back. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. What if there's four people? <laughs> Three of them wants to stay in the front. <laughs> that, that's what you just do? Rock, paper, scissors. Just rock, paper, scissors. Oh, that's what you call dip. Shut up! Yeah. Shut up! <laughs> um, I wouldn't say that you failed necessarily. I think that you think that I'm way more jealous of a person than I am. And then you failed the actual good ones. <laughs> like you, you were like, I'll never do the candy, I'll never peel the shrimp. And you're like, yeah, connect your Bluetooth, I'll pick up your jacket. <laughs> You can ride shotgun and oh, do you want to look through her closet for something or what? Bruh, get out of here. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I gotta leave. I'm leaving. I'm gonna go ride shotgun in someone's car. Whoa. And connect my Bluetooth. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you guys have the same answers to these questions and if you would ever ask your significant other. Am I a jealous person? I feel like I'm pretty normal. I don't think I'm like overly jealous. No. A lot of people were upset about the sesame leaves. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to check out ExpressVPN linked in the description. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.